show y'all. It is the morning of first hunt with the new rifle. I cannot wait to get this thing just lined up on something. I, I don't I don't even know. Um, but I am gonna be buck hunting and I'm looking uh, looking for just something old. Big trophy walks out, it's old. I'm gonna shoot it if uh, there's a selective harvest deer that's um, that's big, it's old, I'm gonna shoot it. I just, I don't know, I wanna shoot something really mature this year. We got a southwest wind this morning, so I'm gonna go sit a spot where I've shot deer in the past with my bow. Uh, there's a bow um, stand in a tree, but there's also a box blind. It's just unseasonably warm, and a lot of our stands are set up for north winds. So this is one of the few spots I can go and they won't sniff me out. I tried to get my dad on one of these, these big, old, girthy deer, and the wind just wasn't good where I wanted to sit. Uh, we had a great sit at another place, seen a lot of bucks too. Uh, these two really old ones, I've got two old sevens and a really old eight point that uh, I'm looking at, going after, and I, I think they travel from where I really want to sit, which doesn't have good wind, and this spot, that we're gonna go sit this morning. I think they kind of go back and forth. We'll see, we may not get a look at the right one, but uh, this place we always get to look at deer, so it's always fun. Sun's coming up in 45 minutes. Let's go see if we can get something in the crosshairs of the Wild Mesa. It is so foggy this morning. I mean, it is hard to see even 50 yards. But as I was coming in, I was going to corn right in front of the feeder and there was already two or three deer there they were running off one of them looked big body like a buck so i just turned around and i drove down the road i parked it and i came in to the blind i'm just now getting set up so i got the rifle I'm about to just load one in Got this brow tines kind of curve in, and 
he's just got a huge body. And he could be this other big seven point, I don't know. He's definitely dominant. He's pushing these other deer away from the, the corn, but oh, I just can't tell you this is killing me. It is 716. And if I throw my rifle up here, I won't be able to pick out what I'm shooting. Like, not with confidence. I'd be able to shoot it, but I wouldn't know what it really is until I got up close to it. Good visibility is like 50 yards. It's 7.33 and I can't see a deer with my naked eye. <laughs> There's hardly any wind. It's just fogged out. Oh man, I really think the buck that was there this morning, he was one of those that I really wanted to take. And he just, he got on a hot dough, I guess. I thought the rut was kind of going down, but apparently he was he was still on her because he ran off and she was gone too, so I'm assuming he was chasing her. A couple more bugs, one looks really good. I finally got a look at this bug. It came right at me. This is one of the deer that I've been wanting to shoot. He's 
it's just with this low visibility there's not a deer still moving. Holding on to that chance. I like to shoot a mature buck. Even if he's got small antlers, just full of buck. <laughs> sits out here. It was because of the fog. <sighs> Hindsight. Wow, I'm hungry. Hindsight should have shot that call buck, but I was just waiting for the bigger one that was with him to, uh, to come out because they were paired up this morning. That bigger deer that was at the feeder early this morning that we just couldn't see, couldn't make out. My, my gut tells me it was probably that giant eight point, but I couldn't see enough to identify him. Certainly not enough to put a crosshairs on him, so that's how it goes sometimes. I'm gonna head back in and get some breakfast. My stomach is talking to me. There is a coal buck that is just, I mean, he is mega rutting right here. I'm going to try to do a stalk on him and just shoot him. I mean, he is like, he doesn't know what to do with himself. So he might go over this fence, but I mean, this is a great call. And he's like, he's hot on a doe. He's ready to fight. I can, I, I gotta just chase this guy. I just watched that, that deer get on the doe he was looking for and he ran off, but man. That's four deer that I, I could have shot today if I wasn't filming. And that's, that's part of the enjoyment for me is getting it all on camera. It's hard, you know, I'm doing it by myself. So I have to set, set it up and get the shot and it just, you know, doesn't make any sense if all of a sudden we're just looking at a deer on the ground. And for me personally, I like, I like the challenge. So one of these days I'm gonna go hunting and you guys won't see it, um, but not anytime soon. I always try to capture it all, but yeah, a rutting, a rutting buck right there, perfect call. And it was like 300 yards, could have, could have easily made it with that gun. But uh, he got on that doe and he gone. Heck of a morning, y'all! I cannot believe how foggy it was, and it was weird to see the rut start to kick in randomly. I hadn't seen that in the last few days, and then boom, they were just getting in the zone uh, you know unfortunately i've got to i gotta head home i think what i'm gonna do is come back here with my dad again i'm just man i would much rather him get a trophy buck uh than me you know i'm down for shooting <laughs> these coals like i should have shot this morning we, we just don't have that many days left in the season and there just hasn't been that many deer down out here and there's just so many so many cull bucks just more mouths on the property just eating eating up and taking up resources and, and all that so selective harvesting we need to do some of that for sure i've been sitting here just plinking with the new rifle it is awesome i cannot wait uh to stretch this thing out and then take my first animal with it um, at the very least i'm going to set up uh, a long range corn pile and try to get some hogs or something like that just because you know, that's what this thing is, is really capable of doing is get out there four or five hundred six hundred yard shots so the really ironic thing is I took a long range rifle out there and couldn't see more than 50 yards and I, I, I needed like a pistol or a bow I literally had a deer that I could reach out the window and scratch his ear it was it was awesome. I mean, anytime you can get that close to deer, it's amazing. I like to watch them. I like to film them. It is part of the fun for me. And sometimes that means your shot opportunity 
is gone. But uh, you know, I get to rewatch these things. You get, you guys get to watch it all, so it's all part of the fun. Thank you guys for tuning in to an extra foggy episode. Always smash that like button for greatness in the outdoors, and I will see you guys on the next one.